What's up guys? I'm back with another game slash platinum trophy review and today we have Star Wars Jedi Survivor uh, which has been out for about a year now uh, sorry not a year a month now and if if you follow this channel and maybe have seen some of my other content you you may know that I am a big Star Wars fan the name that I use in in games for instance my driver name in the F1 games is Jeff Skywalker uh, so uh, I'm a pretty big Star Wars fan and, and have always enjoyed playing Star's, Star Wars games. I played the original of this series, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, uh, and enjoyed it. I had quite a bit of problems with the game, and some of those have been fixed, some of those haven't been fixed. We'll get into that in a little bit here, but I'll pop up some info on the screen and showing just the Platinum Trophy, uh, showing that I got all the trophies, and then also showing how long I spent on the game, which was about 40 hours. So it, it's it's not a very long Platinum, I mean, in the grand scheme of things. I want to say I put something like 70 hours in some of the Assassin's Creed games, so substantially shorter than that, but also not a quick walk in the park, I guess. First of all, I just want to start on the game. As I mentioned, I had quite a bit of problems with the original game in this series, Fallen Order. And some of those problems have been fixed in this game. For example, the there was this problem where basically you would traverse a whole planet and instead of being able to fast travel back to your ship or something, you would have to manually go back through the whole map to get back to your ship. That has been addressed in this game. You can now fast travel, but you, you can only do it from certain points, which, is, uh, which can be a bit annoying. I mean, sometimes you'll find yourself um, out in the wilderness, maybe, between between fast travel points and you have to travel back to a fast travel point before you can fast travel so that does kind of give get a little bit annoying it gets kind of old at times uh but it's not the end of the world and i think it's pretty similar to the way that some other games do it although some just let you fast travel from anywhere so it's not the end of the world but it is something that gets kind of annoying when you do a full playthrough of the game Story-wise, I thought this game was awesome in terms of story. I really enjoyed the story. I really enjoyed the, the character arcs that we went through in this game. Um, I won't spoil anything, and, and I'm not spoiling anything with this video either. This was this was end-game content where I just sort of um, was, was cleaning up the trophies and just did a quick run-through of, of one of the um, locations, and it doesn't spoil anything, so... If you are going to play the game, don't want to be spoiled, don't worry. that You're not going to get spoiled here. Uh, but the story was great. I really enjoyed it. Uh, you do see some returns of some characters from the original game, but it doesn't just feel like a retread of the original game. It feels like they built upon the first game and changed things, and, and there you can sense changes in Cal Kestis, the main character. Um, he's still a little bit annoying, I'm going to be completely honest, but he's less annoying than he was in Jedi Fallen Order. Um, in this game so overall story great in terms of combat controls that sort of thing it it's awesome to feel like a jedi that's just a ton of fun uh, it's so awesome to feel really powerful and feel like you're a jedi and you can use the force and you can use your lightsabers and and you can customize your lightsabers and that's all awesome um and also i play on on story mode the easiest mode so <laughs> I feel more like a Jedi than maybe people who play on the hardest mode will. Uh, but I always play like that. I, I prefer to play on the easiest mode. I'm not I'm not a sadist. I'm not a sadomasochist and, and want to make it as hard as possible for myself. Uh, I just kind of enjoy playing through the story and feeling like I'm a boss, like I'm awesome. And you do feel like that, at least on story mode. But I will say that the lightsaber combat can be a little bit clunky at times. It almost feels like... Not necessarily a delay, but just watching this video, you, you may see some times where I will basically get in one last swing of the lightsaber by pressing square, and I'm swinging at, at empty air because I've already cut down all the opponents in front of me, or the enemies in front of me, uh, but the, the, kind of the controls continue to swing the lightsaber, and it looks just kind of weird. I mean... A lot of times it looks really perfect, but a lot of times it just kind of looks weird. Uh, and it's not the not the worst thing in the world, and I wouldn't even say that it's annoying, but it is something that I noticed, which was interesting. Um, I will say that, kind of similar to what I was saying about the story mode, I, I do think that this game feels, feels pretty different. 
uh, but there are some things that are that are the same for instance the maps the the mini map the the holo map they call it where you can pause and look at what's going on around you um, it was a mess in the first game and i do think it's better in this game but i still think that it's somewhat of a mess just just because of how confusing it really is and, and by the end of the game you start to figure it out and you've been playing in the same areas and you understand um, things pretty well and you know where things are going to be but sometimes you don't know and it gets um it gets a little confusing but i do think it was better than the first game and i really appreciated that uh in in the holo map on this game you can hide certain things so i'll get into the trophies in a minute but um at one point there was there was a point where you, where i'm trying to grind out getting a number of items and it was really nice to just hide all the other items from the map so that I didn't have to look at any of that and I could easily see the items that I that I needed that were left to get. So overall, I did enjoy the game um, in terms of story, content, lightsaber, force usage, all that. I think it's pretty fun. I think they made some improvements on the first game. Um, and it's not a perfect game from that standpoint, but it is better, I would say. But I will say one big caveat is that this game runs like absolute trash at times. Uh, I'm on PS5, and the, there are games that do run like trash at times. For instance, Hogwarts Legacy, if you watch my review of that, I feel much the same about Hogwarts Legacy as I do about Jedi Survivor in terms of how the game runs. There were times where Hogwarts Legacy would run perfectly, and there were times that it would run like trash. And Jedi Survivor is the same way. I think that... There are these little pockets of time where, and I'm on performance mode, I will note that, I'm on performance mode, and there are times where it just looks so crispy, it feels like it's probably 60 frames per second, and it feels just really smooth, and it doesn't feel uh, junky at all, it just feels great. There are a whole lot of other times where the game just feels laggy, and it's got dropped frames, and it just feels like you're at a standstill at times. Um, I didn't have a lot of crashes. I maybe only had one or two crashes my whole time playing the game, all 40 hours. Uh, but it was noticeable that it didn't look as crispy as I really felt like it should. Uh, and performance mode, I don't know what the specifications for are on this game. You know, watch the Digital Foundry video if you want to know that. But I do think that when I see performance mode, I expect 60 frames per second pretty consistently. You know, and I'm fine with 1080p. But I probably shouldn't see these visible frame rate drops. And you can see a little bit of it in this video, um, but it's not it's not terrible, I wouldn't say. And they did they did put out a patch recently that seemed to improve that at least a little bit. Uh, but I can't can't say that it feels like it improved it a lot. So that's my overall summary of the game. It's fun. If you love Star Wars, you're probably going to enjoy this. If you love Star Wars single player games, at least you're probably going to enjoy this. You feel powerful. You feel like a Jedi. Um, they improved some of the things from the first game that maybe people didn't love. And there are still a few little things, including the performance at times just doesn't feel great. But overall, good experience. And I had fun. On the Platinum Trophy side, I would say that this is a really easy Platinum Trophy. It, it is somewhat tedious at times, but it is easy. Um, and when I say tedious, I mean that there are just a few trophies that that get very old very quickly you know it's it's there's one specific trophy that i'm thinking of that's kind of a gotta catch them all type trophy that's uh get all 100 of these collectibles that are across the map uh and that one was was not tough i wouldn't say but there were there were six or seven of the collectibles where i was just thinking i know that this is there i don't have the slightest idea how to get this and of course youtube videos helped with that trophy guides helped with that and i was able ultimately to get it but it was a bit annoying at times having to do that there was another trophy uh, where you basically just have to complete all the bounties in the game and bounty hunters are a big thing in star wars i will i will spare you the details in case you're going to play the game but basically the way the bounties work is sometimes they're off planet from the person who assigns the bounties and so you'll you'll go to the person who assigns the bounties, and then you only get them one at a time. You get the bounty, and then you have to go to another planet. So then you have to go back to your ship, and then you have to get on the ship, and you have to choose where you're going. And this is like a this is like a two or three minute process to 
to get on the ship and choose a different planet and travel over because of course the game is loading the other planet uh, while you're while you're doing this and they sort of hold you hostage for a minute while the game loads the next area or the next planet or whatever it is but it gets annoying because if I could just be given all of the bounties that I needed to do and then go get them myself have them marked on the map whatever that's great but the problem is that and, and sometimes I was going back to the same planet so I start on planet A, I get the bounty, I go to planet B to actually find the subject of the bounty, get the bounty done, go back to planet A, check in with the person who assigned the bounty, get a new bounty assigned from the same person, then go right back to planet B and get another bounty. So it just it just felt tedious to kind of go back and forth. Um, and unfortunately, that's just kind of the nature of the beast as it stands um, I think I, you know, is it a big difference? Probably not. I mean, it's maybe a 39 hour game if, if the, if it wasn't designed like that, with the bounties, but it was enough to, to be annoying and be tedious. But overall, I would say if you have a trophy guide and you're following it, this is a very easy platinum trophy to get. It's just it's just a question of are you are you okay with the the tedious nature of it? And it's not all tedious, I will say. I mean, the story probably took me I don't know, 25 hours, something like that, and I was I was not it wasn't a focused speed run type thing. It was like I was exploring planets as I went and just kind of messing around and trying to figure stuff out on my own. So if I had done a focus speed run, I wonder if I maybe could have gotten this this platinum in something like 30 hours. Uh, but I've just never really played like that and probably never really will play like that. But easy platinum trophy, just a bit tedious. Game itself, fun. I enjoyed it. Um, I, I wonder, will there be a sequel? Uh, hopefully, I would like to see them make another sequel and continue to, to play in this series because... Um, I do think it's fun. I had a really good time, and I love Star Wars, so I'd love to see another game in this series in another three or four years or something like that. If it comes out, I will certainly play it. So that's my game review. That's my Platinum Trophy review. If you've played it or haven't played it, let me know in the comments. What do you think about the game? What do you think about the Platinum? What do you think about the trophies? Um, did you enjoy the game? Uh, did you enjoy the trophy list? Did you enjoy getting the Platinum or... or ultimate achievement or whatever it's called um would love to hear what people think thanks for watching